Hello everybody and welcome back to my Raging Germany series. I hope you guys are all in the mood for some Mongolian barbecue because that is what is on the menu in what promises to be the second to last part in the series. So, um, just to avoid some clutter, we'll go ahead and turn off the worker thing because it's not really all that important that we keep track to of the turn by turn. In the last section, we conquered Turfin. Uh, this is where uh, my Kilimanjaro is located, so we'll be taking a moment to get everybody altitude trained just for mobility's sake mostly, although some of them will be fighting in hills. Uh, we did see that Mongolia had some units up here. He chose to withdraw them because of how strong we are down here. Plus we do have reinforcements coming in from the east. Uh, upon second look we may have just been able to cut through Valenius. Might have been a little quicker but with some of the activity we saw up here this is probably for the better anyways. Um, we are going to need to have a bit of a presence in Washington. Um, we got some units up here. Uh, we can actually chase after this camp. I don't see why not. Crossbow can shoot from afar and the scout can clear it. Um, we wouldn't want to do that right away, so he'll probably take a turn to heal. That's, I'm really loving taking survivalism first on Raging Barbarians and then into scouting. It's like you get the best of both worlds because they're definitely going to get hit again, so you might as well. Uh, this guy was sitting tight just to protect our great general from the back. Uh, one thing I was looking at after I stopped recording, I'm pretty sure it was a mistake to tear up the road here, so I'm going to get that going. Uh, just because Mount Kilimanjaro is here, everybody's going to be flooding in and then immediately heading southwest. Um, you know, the it'd be a lot easier if we had contiguous roads entering the city tile. Uh, we did not want to bring this guy over here because he's got this here. Um, so it might be a good idea to have him come down here to kind of act as a back area zone of control because we've got other lancers that can come in. The main thing I want to focus on though is making sure the musketmen and the uh, composite bowmen get everything that they need. This one obviously has altitude training so he can move along. I don't really see a need to close up this gap. We've got enough Lancers in the backfield that if anything starts coming through. And of course if we change my, our mind, the Musket Man and Turfin can like pop out to defend and get replaced. So I think I'm going to move this guy forward. As for our Archers, that one still has one movement point. That one still has one movement point. This guy here does not have altitude training. And this is one of those times I was talking about. If the road was still here, he could step over here, get the altitude training, and then zoom up to here. But as it is, he's kind of like in the way, and it's all because I tore up that road when I probably should not have. Uh, let's see. This great general can come down here to kind of keep this all protected, which means this great general is going to want to come over here to keep all this protected. Alright, so let's figure out how to do this. We'll go like this with the musket man. And where can he move after that? Probably just back into the citadel, right? I mean, we could come up here, I suppose. Let's just leave that sit for a second. Actually, I kind of get out of the way because I think all the lancers are going to be popping up on one of these two spots. And obviously this one's going to be easier because it's flat land. So... Maybe I should have taken care of them first. Because if I want this guy to come anywhere... Yeah, you can see the arrows pointing to not Kilimanjaro buff. It doesn't take that into account, apparently. And that's probably reasonable. We do want to leave at least one Lancer over here to kind of act as protection for our Archer. Um, three. I wonder what his first move was. Did he pillage? Probably not. Anyways, so let's just get this guy out of the way. I kind of did that in the wrong order, but that's okay. Uh, this guy still has movement, so just chill. Worker. We got a lot of workers. I'm not sure how important that they're going to be, but we can still do what we can. It's kind of funny that this landscape is going to stay barbecued. So, uh, this guy can... Uh, let's see. Four, four... Three and he does not have altitude. So one, two, three. He'll probably end up here. And since nobody else is going to come there, we'll just do that now. Now he's got altitude training. 
So like this guy here, we can have him come here for altitude training and then immediately back up to kind of act as blocking assistance here. Uh, this guy can come get altitude training. And then where would we take him? Because now this guy can come here and this guy can come here. Oh, we can get over the river. That's probably going to be fairly important. We should have one over the river. You can see Bashbalix in darkness here, and we've got one, two, three tiles that our ranged shooters can shoot Bashbalix from. So having a spotter on this side of the river, somebody that can come in from maybe over here somewhere, just peek in to get some visibility so that they know where to shoot. That's a good idea. Alright, so we got two workers to account for. There's not really anything in the backfield worth repairing, obviously. So let us have one. Thinking maybe one come down here. There's some incense over here that might end up getting pillaged. So let's just have one over here. And then as for this one, um, unfortunately with the great general here, we can't really get over here all that well. I don't know how much we're going to be pillaging over there. Uh, I don't think we should cross the river, and I don't think they can. civilians can get the Kilimanjaro buff. I mean, I suppose we can dangle him. There's no harm in that. If it gets captured, we'll just annihilate whatever captures it and recapture. Since we don't have anything else to do with them, I, th I don't think that's a bad use of them. Um, yeah, might as well just heal up. He's a little damaged. Yeah, he could stand to heal up a turn or two. Okay, this guy was just coming down for the iron. None of this matters, obviously. We're kind of done. Oh, no, he was actually coming for the farm. Okay, so I'll go do the farm instead. I kind of lost track of things. It happens when you're going from one segment to another. Okay, these guys were piling back in. I'm going to free up that archer as a human monument. Come down here, free up that knight. This guy was coming over here. Uh, okay, this train's going to continue on. It's a nice little steady flow of units coming through. Dissuade barbarian camps from spawning here and keep a nice supply coming over here. Alright, so let's see here. Looks like this is actually building a university, so I'm going to go ahead and he was coming up here to take care of this. This guy can do that, because river farm is more important than that. And none of this matters, obviously. But we'll, we'll do what we can, since the units are there. He was heading down to assist. Doesn't really matter where he's at. And there we are. Looks like everything's caught up. Um, when we did take Turfin, we did get... Let's see, Assault. And it appears to me to be that that is it. I found this arrangement to be interesting. When we dropped the uh, thing here, this these were tiles that belonged to New York. So when we drop this here, I guess it doesn't count these as belonging to New York. They just count them as mine. So now that this city is mine, these remain, you know, in our territory, but these do not. So I thought that was interesting. Obviously, if we planted this here right now, we would have those tiles. But um, so in your own games, if that ends up seeming like it might be a problem, just something to keep in mind. I don't know that I've ever been in that situation before, so I felt like I knew something. Nice! We have some invaders, and what that means is we're gonna have some people to kill. Lots of fun. Oh, we got some invaders up here, too. Alright. Well, you can come here. These guys are just gonna keep on coming. There's not much we can do. Uh, we got three here and one up here. So, these workers are kind of, like, just lost, but that's okay, you know, I'm, I don't really need them anyways. So, let's see here, which one would we want damaged? Well, if we come down here to attack, which I think we probably should, this guy's going to be kind of zoned or controlled a little bit. Um, not really, because one, yeah, so not really, but... I still think for that reason this was the best way to approach it. He'll limp along, no doubt, and get to safety in time, but we're going to do what we can. Alright, so this train's going to keep on rolling. 
It's a little tedious, but uh, in the end, we're just going to have such a presence over there that, uh, yeah, I'm not interested in that. Horses, not interested in that. Although we're going to sell off what we can, because we have all the things. Because we've been taking all of it. All right, let's deal with the real fun stuff here. All right, so we got this archer here that cannot hit this guy. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, here, unfortunately, if I captured this, I would not have the mobility. Wait, he's got altitude training, right? Yes, he does, so I stand corrected. I'm glad I double-checked that. All right, so let's just go ahead and take this guy. Valenius, might as well, right? They'll be ours forever, kind of. So, let's see. This would normally take three to get into, but now it should only take two. One and a half. Okay. I guess that makes sense. So we'll just go ahead and charge into this guy, right? Oh, you know what? Let's hit with the guy that's in the city tile first. Oh, and you know what? I should have started uh, the raising of this. Okay, that's something I should have done before passing the turn. I don't think it's going to matter, but... Uh, unhappiness would increase by three. We can't afford that right now. Why is that? That seems, uh... We could buy allied ship with them. And that would be enough happiness. Okay. It's just unfortunate that all these things all have whales and porcelain, so one's not really any better than the other. This one's got incense, and we're more about to pick up incense, so there's no need to spend the extra gold. Give a gift. Um, we don't need it for long, really. So we'll just we'll we'll be a cheapskate about it. Oh wait, what's this? Our happiness didn't go up. Why is that? Isn't there a difference between ally and or is it? Oh, the difference comes in their special. Is that accurate? Oh, okay, okay. So I made a mistake there. All right. So what can we do about this happiness-wise? Well, we got zoos coming up, so I guess we just wait one more turn. All right, but still. Uh, I think attacking out of the city tile here first so that he can stay in the city tile. And then when we smash here, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, that can't see anything of ours right now, so let's not help him with that by, like, moving here, for example. We'll just chill. Um, do you have altitude training? You do not. So we're going to have to make sure that we don't miss out on that. Uh, for this reason, I think we should kill this off with this musket man just so we could vacate this tile. That will allow this guy to come here, get his altitude training, come off. This guy can get his altitude training. And then next turn, this guy can get his. So, um, something like this, I suppose. Oh, you know what? We don't actually have to do... We don't... Yeah, okay. Uh, let's just keep it. There's no need to get snuggly with... Uh, yeah, because there was no need to actually kill him with this unit, just to move this unit. So now we'll get him altitude training. There we go. And uh, he's already got it, right? And he's doing some blocking from behind. Let's see here. Oh, we got this guy coming in. I didn't even notice that. So let's uh, do that. Do we have a great general that can help? We do if we move this guy here. So let's just do that. And this guy does have altitude training, right? Is that what this is over here? Okay, too many promotions. As if there was such a thing. Oh, look at this. Great person born. Way over there. Okay, well, let's just start the journey. Now I will have Hong Kong. Yeah, but it didn't actually get me anything, because I was, uh, most city-states, the difference between friendship and ally is, you know... A hard feature of the levels, whereas this apparently the difference is the extra luxury resource. Unfortunately, we already had the porcelain, so I screwed up. There was no reason to do that, but it is not a problem. Okay, so there we go. He still has three movement points. This guy still has one. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to move out here. Well, let's see here. Bombard. Is this city on a hill? It is. So Bombard, Gallius, and this. He will be toast if he stays there, which means he'll probably retreat. And if I'm here, which is free to do because this is my ally, he can't reach me. I can reach him. 
and if I need to retreat I can over here and I don't step here because then if the pikeman comes here I'm zona controlled right so right there is where we and that guy up so let's see here we want this guy to get the altitude training so we'll move him in there we'll have the lancer be the blocker for the great general just because I don't want the archer getting damaged any more than he has to so let's see you continue on with your road I don't know why you stopped but that's okay uh, let's dangle again, because, you know, why not? Maybe this Keshek comes out. Well, the Keshek can come out and just withdraw, but that's okay. That's okay. Alright, so how far can you go? We can go all the way over here, and that would pass through here. So let's just come here for visibility's sake. Oh, nice, we might actually pick up uh, some free monies. Uh, I hope it's coming back, because one, two... Wait. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. I, I would hope to have the city by then. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so you go get your altitude training. This guy already has altitude training. So he might as well cross the river, right? We got blockers over here. So that's fine. In fact, where he's at is perfectly fine. And where he's at is perfectly fine. So... That all looks good to me. This great general's here. Um, I mean, ideally having a great general over here would be okay. We got the third one coming in from the rear. So yeah, let's have him hop over here. Oh, crap. Well, I mean, this is safe. Maybe the great general can cross the river like that. It's not really that important because everybody's going to be assaulting from right here and we'll push through as we're taking the city. It's, this is fine, though. Uh, we got to spread over all of our units. That's very good. Okay, yet another worker. Um, so far, it's been working just dangling these guys. So we can do that. We got a couple Lancers back here. Maybe uh, dangle this worker here. Doesn't appear to be a Keshek there, though, so I don't know what this will accomplish if anything, but if not, he's on the road. We can have this guy move off and this guy would step here and finish the road next turn, so that, that that's fine. Okay, let's move in the back stock here. Taking our sweet time. Can you cross the river this turn? You can. Alright, so he'll be the human monument here while he heals up. This guy will be the human monument over here while he heals up. And you can heal up there. Um, these guys are still hanging around. We'll just stay in town because our goal is one move, oh, movement point away any, or excuse me, one turn away. I'm going to go ahead and collapse this because we're not doing any internal trade routes. Alright. Him I got confused about, but we'll fix that next turn. Come up here for some visibility. Um, tr oh, he was my dangler. Yeah, we'll just leave him closer rather than farther. Um, let's see, might as well get up on the hill, a little more defense. Oh, wait, I don't think these guys enjoy terrain defense. Uh, still a good habit, you know, if you got the choice. So, yeah, everything looks good. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, look at this, we actually turned him down for us paying him two turns, or two gold per turn. I wonder what his, what it, what this is so important to him for, though, that he would willing, willing to do that. Okay, so he's actually got some units in the backfield here. I don't like this guy here, but I like that he's got some stuff to deal with it too. So I might I might mess with them a little bit, just because I can. Alright, so we did lose the... Oh, that's right, because I was trying to move over there. Well, that's very unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I did not mean for anybody to get damaged like that. Okay, well, you need to heal up then so that this guy has a place to heal up. That's what I think. Okay, so we still have a Keshek in play over here. We'll have this guy attack through the city. Because he'll just end up being human mind and he can heal it there anyways. Uh, not really a reason to clear him out. He doesn't seem to be all that interested in capturing our stuff anyways. So let's see here. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's just halt growth as much as possible. We're pretty much done. Yep, I'm aware. We'll get back to that. 
Okay, so let's deal with this guy here. We've got two Lancers, but no Great General. One Great General. This Great General could come here and kind of influence stuff. I don't see why not. He's not doing anything else, right? Alright, and since we got the altitude training, we should be able to slam into here. Slam there. And il presto escapo. Um, let's see. Where can you retreat to? Oh, just there. Okay, we'll get him into our borders. They can kind of be like border patrol. I don't see him pushing in much more. We'll heal him up. See, this is why I wanted to bring all the Lancers and stuff, is we just got units everywhere, and they're extremely mobile. All of that is very good. Okay, so you do not have altitude training. You do. So you'd be able to step up and shoot him. Um, we can finish the road this turn, right? Yep, okay. So we definitely want to be doing that. I was going to come up with this guy. So yeah, we'll have this worker come through the city like this. He can come down, finish the road. Oh, this isn't our road. Oh my gosh. Okay. They, since this is in his borders, it doesn't count as roads. So when I moved here, it's a full movement point. I was looking at one and a half movements finish. And that's very unfortunate because now this guy can't move through and shoot. And that's what I was planning on doing. Well, alright, anyways, this guy does have the altitude training, so we can get this on at least. Um, we got two archers that need to get their altitude training. Um, we're going to need a spot to back him up to. He can heal up here, I suppose. Let's get some visibility. One, two, three. And now we should back off. He can't see us there, so we're fine. Uh, Great General passes over, so we'll just have him defend this turn. Um, get him up on the hill so he can heal safely. This guy's still healing. All right. So I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do it. I'm thinking maybe, like, forego a turn. Like, so I can kill this thing. Because I should be able to kill him with both of his shots, right? Oh, what's going on here? Oh, he gets the range. Okay, I didn't realize this is the guy that didn't have range yet. And it's not enough. Not enough. That really sucks. Alright, do we have any Lancers that can step in? We do. So. And he does have altitude training. Is that useful? Probably not, because one, two, three... And the best we can hope for is to retreat right here. So, uh, the idea is not to... Something like this is fine. Um, so, yeah, slam into that. Back it up. All right, and the Great General's protected now, so that's fine. This guy's still dangling. That's fine, too. Meanwhile, uh, do we want to get him... Oh, whoops. Would have been nice to be able to move him there, huh? Well... I'm making mistake after mistake this turn. That's okay, though. That's okay. A lot of units to think about, so that's understandable, I think. You know what? Maybe we can use this opportunity to get this guy off to the side, because we've got four archers, right? And this one does not have altitude training. Now he does. And this guy doesn't have it yet, so he can get it next turn. This guy will step up, shoot. This guy will double tap. This guy can step over, shoot. He's got a blocker here. we got a blocker uh, somewhere. Yeah, so we won't have Blocker here, but we can have Lancer swooping in, probably. So, in light of that, do you have your altitude training? You do not. Okay, I'm glad I checked. So, we'll get him over here. No, we don't want to put him in bombard range. Right, do you have altitude training? No, he can't, right? He's way over there, so that's fine. Now he does. Alright, so everybody but this guy has altitude training over here is what we need to keep in mind. And then after that, it's just going to be a matter of these back backfiller dudes. Okay, stone works. That's some happiness. Oh, speaking of which, that means we should be able to start raising this. So let's do that before I forget. Yep, we can afford it. Raise, and of course, this means our happiness will increase every turn. Uh, we don't totally want to cook turf and off just yet. Uh, so we'll have to keep that in mind. But we do got zoos showing up all over the place and stuff. So, oh, here's one right now. Let's see. This is Berlin.
Don't really need it to grow. Uh, science is kind of in check as far as uh, using culture to boost science. So let's just do this because we do want to get uh, military science. ASAP. So now that Stoneworks is done, do we have anything that contributes to happiness remaining? We do not. So we too will also just build into science, at least until we get into military science and we go from there. Alrighty. So he'll take over as the human monument here next turn. He's just got to heal up there. This guy's finally getting over these hills. Do 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 do. Um, he can actually be upgraded, right? Yep. There we go. All right, let's start shooting that. So we might be able to take that out next turn. Nah, the, they don't hit that hard, but they gotta heal some more anyways. So there we go. There's some happiness. So yeah, you can see the human monuments do really make a difference. So I wanna keep doing that. Anyways, we don't have a worker over here, so I guess we'll just have him head over there. We can start doing something like that. You sit tight. I think we have a decent great general spread. This guy's exposed. I did not mean for that to happen. Um, if I move him out, he won't heal. And there's a good chance he's not going to come after us. So I'm going to risk it. Um, uh, we're kind of done in the home front, I think. Ten turns till growth. Okay, this is something we might want to keep in mind. We'll have him head over there, because that's the only tile, other tile we're going to be developing, it would appear. Oh, we got other great generals, so even if that one gets captured, it's not the end of the world. Obviously, we don't want to try and steer into that, but let's see. Military science comes in six, so and there is a road up here. I'm just trying to do decide if it would be better to come through here. Well, with this river here, we cut down on a movement. So if we come up here, it would take us two turns to get here, but we can cross the river here. Yeah, so this is faster just because of the roads that Arabia built and never bothered to pluck. So we'll just have everybody start from here and then push over here, and then hopefully everybody will be gathered in Washington by the time we're done with these guys. Okay, so that appears to be everything. All right. Yeah, so many mistakes. It's That's why I try to... Oh, it says a unit needs... Yeah, you're fine. Okay. That's why I try to, like, look at the map and just try to figure out what's going on. Oh, okay, yeah, I totally forgot about that guy when I was deciding how to move him. So we'll just keep chasing after him. We'll not catch him, but whatever. This is what we need to be doing. Yep. Okay, so we could do something about these guys for the money. Don't really see a need to. Um, yeah, because it's a pikeman, we wouldn't finish them off. Okay, so we'll just use these opportunities to heal them. That's why I moved them back into the borders to begin with. Uh, I did not take the bait this time. I suspect that might mean he's getting a little weak in the army. Uh, we could take this guy. I don't see a need. And if we step in here, he'll know that we're here. So I'm thinking maybe just... Oh, wait, let's not step back yet. We need a spotter. That's right. Well, not really. We can start pushing these guys in. Maybe? Do we even need to? I don't know that we need to. Well, if I step him here and shoot, he'll he'll know about it. So, um, let's see. You gotta get your altitude training. So let us not forget that. Um, we'll just have this guy come and act as kind of like a blocker on this side of things. He's very mobile. Like right here, maybe. And that way I don't actually have to get this guy into blocking. Or, perhaps it would be more accurate to say if I did, he'd more likely shoot at the Lancers, which is fine by me. Um, so we no longer need him to be a spotter. Okay, so we'll just pile in, start occupying the city tiles. Whoops, 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 whoops. Actually, click on the thing before you start moving. All right, so heal up. This will get the worker over the river. This is the one that needs the altitude training, so we'll go do that. This guy can step. He'll only get a single tap, but nevertheless, we can start acting on the city. 
which is great. In fact, maybe I have the Lancer come down here to act as a blocker from the side. That seems to make better sense to me. Oh, but now we don't have a blocker up. <laughs> oh, all these units, how can I... Uh, yeah, that's funny. All right, so these guys all shot. Nope. Oh, because of altitude training. Nice. Got to step up and actually managed to get two shots in. Okay, so this Lancer does have his altitude training. He can be a blocker from the front. There we go. That's looking good. We don't need a blocker from back. Actually, we kind of do. But it's a little too late for that. Um, let's see. We do have a good great general spread, it looks like. Although, this one's in a precarious position. So, will you please finish this road already? And, unfortunately, this great general can't stand there. So, we'll come here, and that means this guy's unprotected. But that's fine. He seems to be over here, not over here. I don't like not having something to protect this archer in the back. You know what? Here we go. There we go. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad, because that was otherwise a mistake on my part. We're just going to heal him up manually per turn. That way, once he's all healed up, we can get him out of there, because we've got other units over there that can act as the human monuments. This is a good, great general spread, so we'll do this. I'm going to go ahead and plop the worker here because I think this is going to get pillaged next turn very likely. Right. Meanwhile, we can bring this worker down here in case something over here. Alright, so we got a good worker spread as well. Again, I'll just plop into research, get military science up, ASAP. You're all set. Alright, let me just be human monument time. Let's just do this because why not? Okay, we got more people coming over. Alright, so this little hop along kind of semi protects the great general along the way. That's pretty nice. Okay, you can finally get out of there. So you can move in, you can heal up. Alright. Whatever. Okay, another human monument. Nice. There we go. All right, what's going on over here? Can we, can we do this? We cannot. That's fine. Because I'm gonna just clear the camp, and it's gonna do no damage to our scout. That's fine. I thought I told you to finish the road. Now that everybody's passed through, the road's. <laughs> That's okay. I'm learning. I've never been in that situation before. I was just, you know, killing the road for his sake, not thinking about. Oh, once it's mine, I might want that road. And, like, it's not the, that the gold's an issue, so, yeah. It was silly, but, like I said, that's how we learn. Okay, so I'm expecting this is g the guy he's going to want to shoot, or perhaps this one, either way. I think I'll favor the Lancer. <sighs> Let's let that Citrus come back and see what's going on on our... T oh, he goes for the uh, Musket Man. Alrighty. Alrighty. He did some good damage, too, I gotta admit. Alright, so. And you do research as well. Let's check in on Turfin, because we don't uh, want it actually burning to the ground just yet. Of course, once it is burned down to the ground, all this road won't matter anyway. So, yeah, really, just in general, there was no reason for all that. Okay, look at all these Keshiks we get to blow up. Nice. And they're pretty much free across the river, so that takes... Okay, so there is still a Kashyyyk here, so having some back protection is good. Do that. Oh, no way! It didn't work? Okay, well, he'll finish him off. It's still unfortunate, though, because we're not going to get the gold this way, but, uh, you know, that's fine. Okay, you get your altitude training and come back. You can be the back defense. He can actually get quadruple shot. We might actually lose this guy. That's fine. We got. That's the whole reason to bring this swarm of lancers. Alrighty. One, two. I'm going to go three and then step back here. It's time to start pushing in with our visibility. Um, as far as this, though, maybe if we. There's a road here is what I'm concerned about because we could get double shot and then something could come in from here. So I kind of want to, like, pillage and then maybe step to, like, a hill, for example. Yes. 
All right, well, the road's finished, so this guy can now come here and at least get one shot in. That's nice. And what I can also do is maybe move this Lancer. No, he doesn't reach. That's fine. This one will, though. So we'll move this Lancer down here. He'll, he'll act kind of like a blocker to make sure the Musketman survives from the south. And then this guy can swing in to make sure our archers are covered from the east. Yep. Okay. Right. Do I got great generals to support all this? This one's kind of doing sphere of influence from the city, which affects all these shooters. That's good. Oh, and we got a great general here too. So we can actually move this guy down here and then move this guy down here. That's better. This Lancer's not covered, but he's fine. Uh, this will only get one shot? No, it says we got... Oh, because the road. See, this is why we need the road. Double shot there. Double shot there. Double shot there. Nice. Look at Bashpalik fall. Okay. So, for happiness sake, I don't know how our happiness is doing so well all of a sudden. Um, we could probably afford to take this over while we still have turf, and there'll only be a one-turn overlap. Because we've got incense here, and according to this, we don't already have incense. So that'll, that'll cover the difference, probably. Um, speaking of which... Do we Say actually I'm have on. the multiple citrus? We do. Are you willing to give us full value? He's not. Okay. That's fine. I don't care. Oh, yes. We're going to be going to war with him next anyways. All right. So, worker over on this side. We'll dangle. It's not going to hurt nothing. In fact, it's time to push through. So, we'll bring the great general over here. Um, this great, this worker is going to come over here to get that. Might as well do this. Okay, so... That leaves this guy who no longer needs to be a blocker in the back. This is a full health Keshek. So, let us... Oh, and he can attack from there, too. So this guy could technically get hit five times. So let's just call him a goner, and if he survives, that's fantastic. Oh, look at this. We have this guy here. Can we reach him? We cannot. Why not? Is he already moving this turn? He was. Okay, so once I got the... Uh, that's okay. I couldn't have done anything differently. But we will leave him here, just in case this wants to squeak through here. This gives us a little bit of options to squeak through here ourselves. <laughs> Meanwhile, this worker... We just got too many workers... Um, that's okay. We'll dangle. Nah, at this point I think we just have too many. We got one, two, three. And we don't need any over here. We need one right now. Uh, this city's burning down, so we don't even have to modify the roads or nothing from this point. I'm just going to dismiss this guy. There's no point in making that decision every single turn. Okay, you keep healing, you keep healing... Whatever, just do it. Alright, we'll get some reinforcements here. Might as well come here for the visibility. He can't see it. Yeah, he can, because we're on a hill, right? Yeah. So let him know danger is in the way. Okay, so... Maybe we have this one. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Come my chickens before they hatch. And the thing is, too, you got to keep in mind that, uh, okay, so this is a reason to kind of do this. Let's just, it looks like he's just transporting them from one to another, but even still, if things jump off, I want to be kind of prepared. So now this guy is freed up. I'll use this guy as the human monument there. This guy is hobbling along. What I was going to say is that the funny thing here is that we're actually going to need all these units. Nice, more units. Okay. <clears throat> that helps free up this guy, for example. Um, yeah, because of Ottomans, we don't want him taking Washington while we're taking his capital. And then we don't want him pushing into Karakorum when we're taking his capital. So we're actually going to need all these units. It's not like it's frivolous. Um, but being that it's Germany, it is getting kind of ridiculous in a good way. Alright, so we don't actually need to leave a human monument here anymore. This is burning to the ground anyways. Uh, 
So yeah, we'll just occupy this town. Actually, do you have movement points left? You do. Alright. We'll move him over and we'll put the the musket man on the road. It seems to make more sense to me. Uh, Great General's fine in the city. Because he does influence all of our shooters over here. Um, do we not have a Great General over here to influence this shooter? Oh, he's, it's on the shooter. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I didn't see it. <clears throat> we'll just have him come down and act as a scout, like over here, see what's going on with... Uh, uh, oh, I even have more movement points. Okay, thank goodness for altitude training. Alright, that's everything, so let's focus here and pass the turn. Alright, we got a Keshek popping out here, and we've got a uh, trebuchet down here. What happened up here? Anything? No, our uh, Lancer survived. Fantastic. If only he had tiles to pillage on this side of the road. Um, and if we come here, he'll see us. What is this? Charge? Okay. Medic. That seems pretty good. If we can get him to the front lines, yeah. Um, so let's have him come over here. Turfin won't be there next turn. <coughs> Maybe we pause it for one turn. Well, no, because we can probably take Beshbalik this turn. So... I don't see the need for that. Ooh, wow. Okay, so this guy's hurt. This guy's hurt. So we want him to be the one that captures the city. Um, which means this can act upon this. Oh, it looks like we just one-shot it. Is that what I was seeing? No, not one-shot. That's actually good, though, because... Um, oh, whoa, what did I do? What did I do? Okay. That's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. Uh, this looks like it would be kind of would count as crossing the river, so let's not do it like that. Let's do it like this. Okay. There we go. Good spread. That's a good spread. Um, not our roads, so counting here would count as three. We'd be in bombard retreat, so we're just going to sit tight there. Um, Got to think of the possibility of boats as well, so I don't know if I want to just bring this archer down all naked. We'll have to get some spotters over there. Uh, you heal up. It's going to be your last opportunity. Um, I should probably deal with all this, huh? Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. We had you covered. There's that. All right, demands incense. Look at this. Everybody's demanding incense. When the very turn, we're going to take it, in fact. <coughs> Let's see here. Persian pikemen's composite bowmen. Can I one-shot them across the river? Looks like it. That would be kind of nice to pick up a freebie of. <coughs> Excuse me. I get something in my throat here. <coughs> there we go. That might be better. All right. Too much talking. I don't think there's such a thing. Alrighty, let's see. You're healing up. Oh yeah, we got a war to deal with, huh? Let's do that. Alrighty, so the question is... He can shoot this, but not this. Oh, he can reach that too. Probably because of the hill. If it wasn't for the hill, I don't think this... I think this can be considered wraparound. Uh, the thought I'm having here is... Let's shoot with this guy first. Because whatever shots don't isn't aren't needed to take the city we'll use to take this Kashuk. So let's just do this. One, two... Nope. One... Is that down to one? Three. Okay, so just to be safe, let's do this. Because we've got plenty of firepower to act on this guy. We don't need for it to be all this. Um, so yeah, let's do this. There we go. Create Puppet. Alright, we got plenty of happiness, and Turfin's about to dissolve, so that's going to get even better. Um, I'm not going to make the mistake of ripping up the roads, because these roads will help serve to get us closer to Karakorum sooner, in theory. Um, he's technically healed, so he can actually come all the way into here. That's really nice, because he's got Lancer support, so even if something comes out, he's not alone. Because um, ideally, I'd like to be able to take this out with the Lancer. I know we're going over the river, so 
It's not a guaranteed thing, but we made it, so very nice. Very nice. Alright, we'll get this blocker coming down here. Great general, now everybody's covered down here. Alrighty, we gotta be thinking about great generals for a second. Um, this, this clump's covered. Got some over here. Maybe this moves over here. We can't quite reach it. Um, and this guy's got everybody over here covered, kind of. Alright, so Turfin's about to leave. We didn't have any buildings, did we? We did? Oh, I wasn't selling them off. Oh, okay. Eh, we can wait one more turn. Nah. Can't believe I missed out on that. For some reason, I was thinking when we took the city, I had no buildings. And clearly it wasn't building them in the meantime, so I don't know what I was thinking. I just missed it. That's okay. Alright. So you're healing up the last turn that you can. So that means this knight can just blaze through. How far can you reach? Way down here. That's nice. Um, actually, we're going to have military science in three turns, so let's not get too froggy with our horsies. We'll do something like that. And now this great general can get closer to spread over here a little bit better, which means this guy can step down. Still got a good spread here. All right. So we are a little delicate from behind, but we've seen enough to know that that's probably not going to matter. Um, let's see. In fact, let us, in fact, stop the raising of the city for one turn. Uh, just the fact that a city is here is kind of defense from the back. And that'll actually help us, or give us time to sell off that library. I wouldn't have done it just for the library, but, yeah. Okay, let's dangle. See if that uh, accomplishes anything. Uh, where's our other workers? We got somebody we can dangle over here, that's fine. Um, that just leaves this guy who... Uh, might as well. Oh, we put the Great General there. <laughs> Good planning ahead there. Alright, whatever. No big deal. We will chill. The other thing I could be doing at times like this is looking at... Oh, you know what? You know what? That's a good point. That is a good point. Um, these great generals that we've got, we got another one coming in from behind, so we got to keep that in mind. In fact, um, I th we're going to be done in soon, so we might actually have this great general come across here. I'm just thinking if we keep Beshbalik, right... And we drop a citadel here. That'll grab us all this land. Drop a citadel here. We can kind of neutralize the Great Wall that way. So that's something I should have been thinking about sooner. Uh, I don't know why it just now occurred to me, but that's... That's a good idea. In fact, uh, let's see here. Yeah, we got all this marsh over here. That's kind of unfortunate. Because this is a hill. So we'd have like one two, one, two, no, one, two. I don't think an archer here would reach. I think that's considered wrapped a, wrap around. So maybe like here, we're going to have to be shooting from this side, which means we're going to need units to block from the back. Okay. So yeah, like maybe a citadel here and then one here or something just to take all this land. Alright, so how many great generals do we actually have? We have four right now, but one's far away. And we only are really going to need them on the archery battery, because we're just going to have units all around us to protect us from the Janissaries and such. In theory. <coughs> okay, so you come up here, because you're going to be crossing the river. Um, which means you're not going to be crossing the river. So you come off to the side, so you're not getting in everybody's way there. Um, we're not quite ready for peace, so let's count on these guys still coming through like this. Okay, caravan, you were probably going somewhere before already. Yep. Okay. Uh, he's just chilling. He's chilling. He's good where he's at. I mean, not really. I would ideally put him up here because covering the musketman is more important than the lancer, but this is on the road, so there's that. I kind of forget. Are these tiles considered Beshbalik and not Turfin? Probably. Because we do want to put Turfin back into the ground next turn. We're just using it as back defense for this turn. Oh, no, 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 no. It's funny that he wants to give us the American cities, though. 
Enemy is near. Where would that be? Oh, look at this. Galeas. Alright. They have a range of two. Okay. Well, I have a range of three, so what say you? Alright. Cover there. Okay. Wait, I thought we had a notice about a unit nearby. Where was that? Okay. In the backfield. <coughs> I wouldn't have even noticed that if we didn't have the city here. So before I forget, well, we can bombard. These guys can spend their turn shooting here. He's on the road, though, so I'd like to send them along. I definitely want him coming here, because we can hit the Galeas from here, and he can't even see. Well, yeah, he can, because we're in his borders. So he might actually withdraw that, but that's fine. Um, but this does mean coming here to shoot the city from here might not be a good idea. Uh, we might have to have a couple archers over here to take care of the navy while the other two come over here to get into position for the city. Um, this is a hill. Uh, this is rough. So unfortunately all of our archers, this is a hill, so we'll be able to shoot over the forest from here. And with uh, altitude training we can step and shoot if that's what we decide to do. Uh, but that would mean we're going to want some spotters. So let's have a guy come down. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Goliath, Trebuchet, and of course the city bombard. So this city can actually shoot thrice. So we don't want to leave anything in range that we don't have to, and it doesn't look like there's any tiles in the south we can actually pillage, so we got to keep an eye on that. <coughs> Alright, so back to this guy. Um, let's see, one, two... Ideally, I'd only want to shoot once with this guy so he can get onto the road. So let's do this. Alright, so now he can just flat out move into position where? Can he reach? He can reach that tile. Let's do that then. Where would this Lancer go? Uh, let's set him over to the side here as well. Get some western support if, in case we need it. So if you're moving in here, he's unprotected. But we saw what's in the city. It's just a trebuchet. So he can't be reached there. So we'll have him do this. Uh, d worker dangling doesn't seem to be worth much here, but we can actually bring him up here for visibility. we got a lot of uh, ways of addressing that. We'll bring this guy down here, bring a great general down. we got a great general already covering all these guys. So everybody's covered right now, that's good. And we can use his extra point to get on the road, that was the point. Okay. So, now that we're done with the bombarding, I didn't want to do this while we were ripe for bombard, just in case. I don't think it matters, but... <coughs> so this great general might be worth moving over here right now. Um, like, get set up right here, take some land right around the time that we're about to get not so friendly. So yeah, we'll just have this guy heal. We only need the two here, and we got one coming in from behind. I think the land stealing is probably a little more important, because we can cover all of our archers with one great general. So yeah, our other units will start dropping a little quicker, but I'm not so sure that's a problem. <coughs> Alright, so you just heal up. That's going to take some time. He's healing because he's damaged. And we don't want this guy getting too far out of our border, so we'll just plop him here. Well, on this side of the river, he can kind of act as a blocker over here. I don't think we're going to need one, though. Um, let's see. This river comes through here, so this if this knight was here, he could cut through the forest and act over here, so that should be fine. You're healing. Um, I don't think we need workers over here. We have too many workers, and that's okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we'll just have that go there. Now he can start repairing this tile, which is, again, not very important. In fact, we should start burning bush like down, huh? I forgot to do that. Yeah. How much will this cost? Five? All right, we can afford that. Raise the city. Yep, but this one we will not raise to the ground. We won't actually burn it to the ground. Uh, at least not until the citadels drop. Actually, I think the citadels need a supporting city. Um, we saw earlier... Was it... Oh, no, I guess not. Okay. I saw it recently. I must have been in a different game then. Uh, once the city was burned down, like, the citadel doesn't actually hurt 
enemies. Alright, so this guy's fully healed. Um, we'll have him cross the river, because he might be a blocker over here. He doesn't really have time to get involved down here. So this will actually go pretty quickly, if not for the boats. The boats are the real problem. Um, so really, we should have had the worker end up here, just so we could keep an eye on the boats. Uh, keeping that in mind, I'm going to move this worker here just so we can use him for visibility in the bay, if that's what we decide we needed to do. Uh, Turfin is burning to the ground. We can still come up here for the happiness for a minute. Let's see. Get you across the river. Yeah, we're pretty much done on this side of the river. It's all going to be about the Ottomans. Okay. Moving along. These guys will get over quick this way. Unfortunately... Oh, can I actually get... Wait, what? Wait, what? Why is it saying I can move there, but I can't? <coughs> Figures, Byzantium, again. I mean, I could cross them to here and get shot, but it would, might be more than one shot, and we're about needing to upgrade them. So... Yeah, maybe I should have come in here just for the upgrade. We'll do that with him for sure. And here's another great general. Um, the moment we think we're going to declare peace, it'll be worth it to bring the great general through here, probably. <coughs> I don't know if he's going to be a backup great general or one of the citadel great generals, but nevertheless, we want him in the west. So I'm going to leave this guy parked here in defense mode. Um, cause there's a lot of buzz going around here. He doesn't have what it takes, but just in case. Yeah, we should be able to one-shot that. We did. Nice. <coughs> there we go. My throat is clear again. Okay, so military science comes online next turn. Might as well end up here. Uh, he's at least gonna be healed up. He can be the new human monument here. These guys can come over here. Oh, Damascus is taking some land, eh? All right. So I don't want to forget. I want to move this. Uh... All right, he took the bait. Hey, there's a Goliath I can see. Nice. All right, military fun. science. Industrial era, here we are. Arr. Okay, so let us upgrade. We definitely got the money for all this. It's so cool. Boom, boom, boom. Just in time to go after the Ottomans. Okay. In fact, you know what? I might as well do this, just so we can find them all easier. Yep, he's out of bones. Um, crossing here should not be a problem. Yeah, the visibility, that's fine. Uh, let's see here. You can move here. You can move here. So I'm going to have him step and upgrade just to make room for this Lancer. <laughs> Great generals are in Jeeps now. That's so cool. Um, man, if this wasn't a hill to where we'd be visible, I'd totally park him here. But we would get intercepted then. Alright, he's going to get upgraded. <clears throat> Alright, so that means all of our cities, we don't need working research anymore. <clears throat> um, it really doesn't matter what we pursue at this point, I don't think. We don't have time for uh, trade routes to make a difference or anything, really. Um, just anything that contributes to happiness, which is nothing. So, we'll just choose this because we're Germany. India stole yeah, machinery. No big deal. Uh, spy has been recruited. Let's put him in Zanzibar. I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but I don't think it's going to matter at this point. It's just this is the only one that's close to him, but not close enough that it's going to make a difference. We'll probably buy him before we declare war. Because we got money like that. <clears throat> okay, so the dangler was taken. <clears throat> Damn. My throat is out of control. 
So this guy can reach here, but we can't see there. So I think this is a graphical anomaly. Sure enough, that's unfortunate. In fact, there's no way to get visibility there. Yeah, there is. We could put a unit here. Um, but we don't have a unit to put there. We could put a Lancer there. There we go. Alright, so this Lancer is going to get heavily shot at. The Trebuchet... Well, actually, yeah, the Trebuchet can hit it, but there's not going to be a Trebuchet there by the end of this turn. In fact, we can... Uh, yeah, proof of concept, we can hit the city from here. But let's do the trebuchet instead. Or, better yet, in the interest of time... Oh, look at this. Look at this, what's going on here? Alright, I was just going to say, in the interest of time, let's just act on the city every way we can, but we are going to have to act on these units, is what I was going to say, but that's even more true now, because we need to use our uh, firepower over here to deal with this. But it's fine, because two shots from our lancers... And we're good to go. Okay, so he's got three movements. One, two, pillage. One, pillage. All right. And that just means we got to clear him up with a musketman, or we can do this. Um, we could return the unit. We got plenty of workers. The problem with that is that we would have a civilian that we couldn't sees running around this land. So we're just going to take it, because like, if there's something here, we would be blocked. Um, I'm not going to move the musketmen in yet, just because we do have this, uh, uh, these, all these units. Like, the trebuchet's gone. That's really good. I can't believe he fell for that. Um, Turfin is now gone. And that's fine. Heal up here. We have a couple archers coming in from the back. So let's cross the river when we can. Unfortunately, that guy's there. Um, so yeah, let's move this musket man. Uh, where would we move it to? Um, the AI can't move and shoot. So... I mean, this Lancer... Actually, we can back the Lancer up. Yeah, because now here he can only be bombarded. He can't be shot by either boat. That's a really good idea. Okay, so the Lancer, this Lancer's damaged. He's probably going to be the bombard target, which means we can move this guy in if we want. But we wouldn't move it here. Uh, the main point is just freeing up this tile so that this guy can come in. And then this guy will get on the road, which means he'll be able to land here across the river next turn and get into position off to the side. Uh, not really a lot of room for all these archers. Hopefully we can deal with these Galeuses quick so that we can at least have one guy standing here plinking. Uh, maybe I have this worker, like, rip up the forest here. That seems like a good idea. I don't know if we have the time for it to be useful, but that's... I wanted to mention it so that I think like that in the future, perhaps. Um, these two great generals have a good spread down here. We don't need a third, so I'm going to actually just get him into position over here. Something like this. Oh, you know what? Oh, can't do it. wonder what that worker's doing there. Let's come in here for eyeball's sake. Alright, come here so we can heal. And he's on the road so he can really zoom zoom in the future if we need him to. Okay, whatever, don't matter. Hey, look at this guy finally getting into somewhere that's beneficial. Yeah, so like, I can't even calculate how long it's going to take for Kor Karakorum to far fall. So we're just going to have to keep this guy puttering along. It's unfortunate, but... Okay, we'll get that going. I didn't even see a notification for iron, but that's probably because it's outside of our workable radius. That was a... Uh, limitation of the enhanced user interface I never much cared for with regards to uh, like playing tradition for example okay so I don't see the damaged Galeas we'll step out here for spotting purposes um, we do want to take them down the problem is that I don't we don't have the shots to take this guy down so let's quadruple this guy. It doesn't look like it's going to be enough, though, does it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Projections were low, but we got him. Alright, so now we'll back this guy off. We don't need the spotter for that Goliath right now. 
Okay, we get some promotions here. Medic, yes. Okay. For some reason, I never noticed before that Medic came next. I don't know if that's a Lancer thing or what, but I definitely think it's a good idea to have. <sighs> Alright, so we gotta assume the Lancer's gonna be the one getting shot, so I'm actually gonna take a chance, step up on this hill, and start acting on the city. Hey, look at this. March. Heal every turn. Okay, so between this Medic and him having March, even if we're wrong, we'll probably be able to passively heal. All right, where would this guy go? He doesn't look like he's needed down here, so I'm thinking let's bring him up here because we have to dissuade the Ottomans from taking advantage of our current situation. This tile is repaired. Um, he does have a another trebuchet. He'll probably use it to shoot rather than capture the worker. The work Capturing the worker would be ridiculous. Um, but in a similar vein, we can bring this worker over here. Alright, so the Great Wall doesn't count against us when we're friendly. That's good to know. We're just doing that out of spite. There we go, we get out of his borders. I don't know if that helps. Alright, so I'm just going to leave this worker here. Peace Treaty expired. Oh, you know what? I meant to go through everybody's production and change it. Um, but there's nothing really to change it to. So once we get Hanses, we'll start building towards that, but it doesn't matter. And there's a good chance I was missing out on some trades, too. I haven't been paying too much attention over here. He's got eight gold, which means we can sell off three luxuries at a loss, but we'll get all of his gold. We don't need the luxuries, but... And meanwhile, let's check in on Besh Bleak. Because we should be able to sell stuff, maybe? Not the market. We might as well keep the library and the university. Uh, none of it matters at this point, but... Alright, so our great generals have everybody covered. That's important. Um, he's got all his moving points, so defend is a better option. Alert, I think, I put it. Um, let's get him out of bombard range. We already have a bombard target that we would like. Um, we still have people coming in from the west, or from the east, excuse me, so I think it's safe to start bringing these guys down. Uh, we'll miss out on this human monument for one turn, but as you can see, it doesn't even matter. Um, he can actually stand to heal up one more turn. You are in the way, sir, but that's okay. I don't care. Uh, let's see. All these guys are coming over, because we're basically preparing for... Great big standoff with the Ottomans. At this point, it's more important to get the cavalry over. This is faster, I'm pretty sure. Alright, poor great general. I'm not going to get there in time. It's so unfortunate. Alright, so let's see. If we're going there, this is our last chance to upgrade, so we'll do that. He's chilling. Alright, that's everything. Good deal. We are making progress, my friends. We are going to be there soon. Okay. Arabia stole printing That's press. Um, I don't care. Repair. Pillage, and that keeps him lively enough to probably get shot again and live to tell about it, so we're just going to leave him there. Spotter. Um... We have to deal with this Gallius because we need this tile for an archer. Um, so we're going to shoot, shoot. He already got one shot put in, but he might have healed up. Cause he, oh, good. That's, that's good enough. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Act on the city, which might be foolish because it's just not enough, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to move this guy into range so that we can move this guy out here. Um, I don't think we need both of these Lancers here anymore. We'll have him start heading back. That looks good. We have a great general here. So if I step here and take this land, we can have another great general step here and take all this land. 
And that would consequently clear the forest. That's what was missing from my strategy. Well, I mean, ideally we'd want this marsh to be cleared, so maybe we drop the Great General here. And that way the next one can be dropped on the swamp. That's a good idea, actually. So, what I want to do down here is let's go ahead and move this great general over. We're at a position now where um, if this great general was like up here-ish or something because this guy can step over and shoot at the city this guy can step and shoot at the city so if a great general was like right on this tile we would have all of our archers covered and that's important because the other one's not going to get here in time and I really like this plan but it's going to take time to get this other great general over here so we'll actually have this one start heading over onto the marsh here and that way we can just plop plop and we can have this worker start ripping up the forest here as well oh I'm so glad I thought of that in advance because that's not the kind of thing you want to wait to the last minute for um, and this plan is kind of important so let me at least protect the great general you know, we'll protect both it's too important at this point Okie dokie, you are free to go. And this will basically take it up. We can upgrade that guy a couple times. Mm, I don't even care. Whatever you feel like. Alright, so this guy can move. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's not good enough. Stop there. Upgrade. Boom. Alright. Okay, that should be good enough. Poor great general. Alright, so we do know that... Maybe I shouldn't have hopped the river. Maybe I should just have this guy escort him down. We're, we're, we're almost there as far as take, being done with him. But again, I think it's pretty clear. This, this great general doesn't even matter. We've got the two we need for over here. And um, we've got oh, we've already got one influencing all the important people. So hop on the road. Oh yeah, the hopping on the road has the double benefit of Kilimanjaro. I don't know if I've been paying attention to that. Do all these guys have their great altitude training. Yes. Okay. Good. You too. You too. All right. Happy about all that. Good. Okay, so we no longer need spotters in the bay. He's going to keep this Galeas here to unload on whatever he can. So let's move another Lancer into position just to give him uh, targets. And we'll come down here. There's no reason to, but just in case. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got this worker. I forgot about that. We just captured him last turn. Okay, good deal. Delhi. Um, I don't know how much it's going to matter bringing this one over, but we can start. We'll have them come through this way, though. It's clearly better at this point. Uh, whatever. Get out of here. You are done. You are fired. Um, yeah, we'll keep him. He might get killed. He's going to get triple hit, but I don't mind. Alrighty, here we go. He did not get killed. That's awesome. It's especially awesome because it means we can he can stay within range one more turn and be the guaranteed well. target. Um, let's see here. I was doing Go on. this because why not? Um, he is the guaranteed target, but I still want to step and pillage uh, just to give him some health. The more hits he takes, that means the fewer hits of these could potentially go on to a uh, archer, is what I was trying to say. Can I reach this from here? I cannot. I didn't think I would. So we'll step off to the side, get one shot in. He gets two shots in. This guy can step down here and shoot once. This guy can step up here and shoot once. And now everybody's going to be double tapping from this point on. March. Oh yeah, that's right. This is our medic, isn't he? 
Alright, maybe he's worth preserving then. We'll back him off. Hopefully the city favors another Lancer. In the event that they fa uh, favor one of our uh, crossbowmen, three hits with Great General, I don't think they'll get killed. I really hope not. You know what? It's more important. Let's put him back. It's more important that we protect our archers than we protect our medic. I wasn't thinking about the medic earlier, so that's something for me to keep in keep in mind for the future. <clears throat> okay. He can get over there, which means the great general should be able to get over there safely. Uh, we don't have a need for this guy. Let's just get rid of him. Well. Okay, this guy was coming over. He's going to be our other great general over here. Um, we don't really have time to use these workers to be building, like, roads over here. That might have been a good, better thing to do than dismissing them. Um, you can tell I'm not experienced at war, but that's okay. I'm learning. We're just going to get rid of that guy. He's going to protect that great general. Um, he doesn't really have a use. Eyeballs, I guess. Cut through... Wherever you were, that's fine. I don't care. Okay. Beshbalik is still burning to the ground. Um, let's see here. I wonder how long the Ottomans are going to let me get away with being over there before they decide to get upset. Um, you know what? It might be time for some of these guys to actually... Oh, wait, no, we got plenty coming in. I was going to say they might want to end up in Washington just to act as defense when it's time to go. None of these guys are needed for the war with Genghis Khan, so let's just do this. Zoom. Okay, come down here. Poor great general. On the other hand, uh, Karakorum's falling fast now that we're finally into position, so uh, give it a turn or two. Unit needs whatever. Just do your job. There we go. Bye-bye, medic. It was nice knowing you. That's okay. I said something about Galeas and... Uh, I didn't read it in time. I wish those were showed up like notifications here. Alright, that's okay. Let's get all our double tapplers going. And I think what I'll do just to make sure the um, enemy attacks not the archers, I think I'll go ahead and attack here and then pillage. Now he's damaged, so hopefully he's the favored target. Uh, meanwhile, we'll have this guy start heading over, because we're going to start heading back, basically. Alright, Beshbalik is still burning. We got tons of happiness. That's nice. Alright, so let's see here. We're just getting all this into position. Uh, position. There we go. Okay, nice. I like it. I don't like having all these units outside of our borders, but we can lie through our teeth until it's time to go, so I don't really care. <clears throat> um, again, this doesn't matter. Although we have the option for Hanses now, so let's just go ahead and do that. You never know how long this is going to last. Oh, whoops. I was uh, queuing behind. I didn't mean to do that. Um, oh, this is uh, stop saying. Oh, this is Beshbleak. All right. Included that. Let's see. Let's get rid of that. It's the one feature I don't like about enhanced user interface because I personally never queue up like that. I always like to do things manually. I guess I'm a bit of a micromanager. All right. I do want to get another melee blocker over there, so let's do that. We don't. Man cannot live on mounted units alone. We can 
just cut through here probably. Yep. Alright, so the, these uh, melee, or these slow moving units, they'll all pile into Washington here. Um, in fact, let's have the scout come over here. You can be the new human monument over here while everybody piles in. You can pile in. Uh, you can pile in. Just do that. Alright, poor great general. I don't want to expose him yet. And he has Keshek, so I can't trust on slow units not being able to intercept him, unfortunately. <coughs> um, I could have just dismissed that guy, but whatever. Alright, let's defend. Okay, finally, finally, finally. Let's light this candle. Go, go. A unit. What do you mean a unit needs? Just do your job. Come on, man. There we go. Hit him. Hit him. Yep, they did. Alright. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and... Do up the embassies, because why not? Alright, so let's get this guy out of here. Oh, this doesn't count as our road yet, unfortunately. Well, that's just unfortunate. Medic, yes. Um, I can go over here, I guess. That's fine. This way I can actually come over here, pillage. Get the fudge out. Actually, I don't need to do that, because we can... Oh, you know what? He can be the one to take the city, I think. He's got two movement. Uh, coming through the hill would be okay, because of altitude training. So you can get out of here. We'll have all of our... Uh, let's do the distant guys first. One, two... One, two... Is that... It's down to one. Here we go. Whew! Okay, what a long segment this has been. This is the buildings we got, guys. Uh, nice city there. Uh, Beshbalik is still burning, but we're not going to let it finish off. Everything's getting into position over here. But as you know, I don't like to make any more decisions than I have to after such a long segment. So I'm going to cut this off here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Mongolia uh, Barbecue is now served. Hope you guys enjoy your share. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day this Memorial Weekend, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.